Hey guys, it's Duct Tape Susie, and this is the Crafts of the Week. Um, I have a few new things to show you guys this week, so I'm pretty excited about that. Especially since I've not seen anybody do that before on a couple of the different things. But I'm going to start off with the just the normal stuff first. Um, okay, so first I have this just plain blue bifold with gray. There's three, whoops, sorry, three card pockets here. Uh, pocket above the ID, the ID, and then the two hiddens here, and a billfold. So there's one. Next one is a fun skulls, and it's just a six card pocket with alternating trims, and there's two hiddens as well. Oops. And the billfold with the white at the bottom is not the adhesive, that's actually white tape. So there's another one. Um, I kind of tried doing the tri, not tri, tri weave, that's what it's called. And I have to say I'm not that great at it, but here it is. I guess it takes a little practice to get used to. So this is a pink, black, and white one that I did. And then the inside, I have three card pockets on this side with alternating white and black. And then the ID here, the two hiddens, and the billfold. And then I tried another tri weave and I did pink, pink, orange, and white. <laughs> I almost said green, I don't know why. And then I did the alternating colors as well, and the ID and the three card pockets, and then there's the two hiddens, and the billfold. So I will try to do more tri weaves cause since um, it's, I'm not used to doing them, but. Okay, so I'm going to show you, this is one of my new techniques, and when you look at it, you're not going to think it's new because everybody's done tri uh, trifolds before. But anyways, this is done with the Rue 21. I call this floral lace because it kind of reminds me of it. And then you open it up like a trifold. Whoops. And then on this end, you have two vertical pockets and then another like hidden pocket right here. You have the two horizontal pockets here. And then you have two more vertical pockets here with another hidden over here. And then the billfold is just black. And the one thing that you see about this that's not like everybody else's, you don't see there's an ID on here. And so let me show you where it's at. So they both fold, you can fold either way on this, except for I am going to put Velcro on it just because Rue 21 tape is much thicker. But there's your ID right on the back of your trifold. And right here is a little opening and the billfold to put your ID. Um, and the plastic is actually built in between the two layers of tape, in between the black and the floral, pink floral lace. It was really difficult to do, but I love it. I think it's a great idea, especially if you don't have an ID or you don't have um, a driver's license or anything to put in there you could put a pretty gift card or a picture even like a design you can switch it out every day so that that was really cool the front is still like normal you could do like a velcro right here and then still put like a design on the front but then you'd have your ID back here which is also handy if you're going somewhere and they ask you for your ID you can just go like this instead of having to get it out so I really love that feature I'm going to be doing this in probably all of my wallets so it's nothing I've seen done before, so I, I'm obviously going to take credit for that since I've never seen it done. Um, if somebody else has done it before me and have proof of it with their video dates, then please let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of my idea. So anyway, here is the Pig's Fly. Six card pockets, all white trim. Two hiddens right here. And then, of course, you have the billfold. And this one, let me get the card out. I did this in a billfold as well because I kind of wanted to see what it would look like with both. So anyways, this is what the back looks like. It just looks like a white backing. But right here in the billfold, if you look up or fold up right here, there's your ID pocket. And just like the other one, the plastic is between the two layers of tape. So, whoops, it's a little upside down, but you kind of get what I'm, what I'm saying here. So you can still do your, your little designs in the front of your wallets your bifolds but you'd have your ID on the back so it's easy access and uh, makes things a little simpler if you do have an ID and need it present right away you can just kind of go like this instead of digging it out 
So that is one of the newest features I have added to the wallets. And this way I can also add in more pockets. So you have six card pockets and then you still have your ID just be in the back. So let me know if you like that new feature that I added. Um, also I have a new women's wallet which I think you guys will be really excited to see. So the first one I did is this one right here. It's the blue and um, purple cheetah. And I have a little ruffle down here at the bottom. And then you open it up. And this is, um, a lot of people make the, the mini accordion wallets. Not the mini accordion woman's wallets, but the mini accordion wallets. But I kind of wanted something similar to that. And I see these all the time, except for they have the zipper all the way around it. I didn't have a long enough zipper to try that method out, but I will later on. But I really like this one a lot. So as you can see, when you open it up, you have your expansions right here on the sides. And on this first panel right here, it's kind of hard to see upside down, but you have four card pockets, a billfold behind that. And then you have your section right here, and then flip it over, and you have kind of the same same thing here. Four card pockets, a billfold, and then you have like the little section in between. And then you have the zipper pouch. So I really, really, really like this method a lot. You don't have to worry about so much your stuff falling out. So here's kind of a nice uh, look at how it looks with the cards and the billfold. So I really, really like this method a lot. I am going to continue to do this with all my wallets. Um, this one I made much bigger because it was my first one. And then I started making them a little bit smaller. So here's my second one. And I love this peace sign with the pink little ruffle here. And I'm going to add it with magnets or snaps. I don't like Velcro because it, it comes off too easily on all my wallets it has. So anyways, it's the same, same method here. You have your expansions right here. And then right here is the one panel with your four card pockets and your billfold. And then on this side you also have the four card pockets and the billfold. And then you have the peace sign zippered pouch in the middle. This one's a little easier to see since there's no black in there. Um, and yeah, I continue to do the ruffle technique too because I really like that a lot. And then I decided to do a Route 21 one because I was interested to see how it would work with the thicker tape. So this is what it is. This is the back. And if you really wanted to put a design on this, you could still put one on the back. Um, so anyways, here's the Route 21 one. It's all lined up. And then the front is also lined up, and I like that. That's why I didn't put a rough one because I like how it lined up. I'll probably either put snaps or um, magnets on it though. And then atomic yellow on the inside. So here you can see the four card pockets with the billfold. And then you have your section right here, and then another section right here, and then right here. Well, let me just flip it around so it's a little easier to see. You get your four card pockets again, another billfold. And you have your zippered pouch right here. And the Route 21 tape worked really well. I just, if you're going to do something similar to this, then I suggest just using the normal duck brand for the ex extension pieces. So, there is that. Those are my, my new wallets. I was really excited to show you guys these. I almost did a peep show with my new wallet on Facebook but then I thought oh I don't want to ruin it in case people are actually following me on Facebook so that is my craft of the week um, hopefully I'll have more stuff next week I'm planning on doing something a little different I try to bring something new to the table every week and I also did a pigs fly um, zippered bracelet which I had um, messed with the name a little bit because I'm not really sure if I want to continue calling it the zippered wallet or a money cuff because you do store your money or your medications or whatever else you want to put in there when you're on the go um, but I don't have it here with me right now but I did make that one to match this wallet but let me know if you guys like the idea how I had added the plastic in between the two layers of the tape and if you like my new accordion wallet I love this I'm actually going to make one for me because I like this a little bit better than I do the mini women's accordion wallet it just seems more compact you just have to open it up to get to your things so, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!